My name is Melissa. I am a resident at Lammas and we live at Tothern Heath. It's an MR plot. I'm a beekeeper and I have four hives. Uh, today I am having a visit from the local Steiner School, Nantikum, and a class is coming up. They're studying botany and as part of their day I'll be taking them into my hives and giving them a bit of a talk about bees and honey. So if, so if I give it a bit of smoke, what it'll do What it ought to do is send the bees down. So there's a frame, that's empty. Yeah, this is why I'm. So, can you see the liquid there? That's all honey that they're bringing in, all the feed. That capped there is capped honey, so that's honey that's ready to um, ready to be eaten. Basically, what they do is they bring in nectar from the flowers. And then they, they evaporate the water off the nectar, which is mixed in their honey stomach. And that enables them to turn it into honey. So there you go, so you can see capped brood. And you can see grubs. Can you see the grubs around the edge? They look little white fat worms. And then around that, which is even harder to see, is the eggs. And then you've got the pollen. Can you see there is the orange? Um, that's the pollen that's being brought in. So that bee there that's got pollen on its back legs, it'll feed it, it'll put in, that one's got a lighter pollen. So that'll, they'll be putting those into the cells. But can you see how it's a circle? It's a circular pattern of the brood nest and then the supplies on the outside. These slightly fatter cells there and there are drones which are the males and the rest are workers. Right, is she on here? Where are you clean? Yeah, there she is. Can you see her there with the red spot? There she is. So she's a bit bigger than the rest of them and she's got a long abdomen. And they generally face her. Can you see how the other bees are facing her? Sometimes that happens and sometimes it doesn't. And they're cleaning her, they're licking her, they're feeding her, and she's wandering around and laying eggs, basically. And um, she lets off a pheromone keeps the whole hive in a state of contraception because these are all female. The whole hive is female except for the drones. Did you see the queen? Yeah. yeah. What was she like? She was really long and like shiny and had a black spot on her. And then we also saw a bee emerging. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. What was that like? Uh, it was kind of eating its way out of the, the hole, uh -huh. but we didn't actually see it come out. You seem to enjoy it? I think so, yeah. Great. But some really kind of want to get up closer and others are more reticent and want to yeah. stay back a bit. Bees have been kept by humans for thousands of years, probably. It's probably the first animal, and I, I wouldn't say bees are domesticated the way a cow is domesticated or a sheep is domesticated. Bees are still very much a wild creature, um, but we have worked with bees for, for, for a very, very long time. And they've always been revered, they've always been honoured as well. Um, so my name, for example, is Melissa, and Mel is um, honey in quite a few languages. I think it's in French, it's meal, and... Italian, it's Mel, and Greek, it's Mel. Well, um, well, so my name basically is Honey or Honey Bee. Um, and the Melissae, which is like my name with an, e, an A on the end, were um, bee priestesses. So during Roman times, they had whole temples to bees, and the Melissae were the priestesses that looked after the bees and, and looked after the temple and stuff. So we've always had this relationship with bees. I'm not 
I mean, understandably so, they give us honey. <laughs> so what we can do is we can cut out a section of this and have a taste, wow. if you want. Otherwise it gets just really messy, you might as well just pop it all in. Oh really? Mm. Mm. Oh god. Oh, this is so nice. Mm. Mm.